Hello boys, welcome back to the channel, Cautious Marlon, make sure to like, subscribe, comment and follow me on Instagram, Cautious Marlon, okay, so the topic of this video is that life changes very fast and it's gonna be a bit motivational and um, just like my experience with my life in the past year, so it's like, which month is it? I think today is the 1st of June, yeah, it's the 1st of June, so summer is starting. And uh, around exactly one year, I started going out more, started uh, going out without my mask on. I used to only wear a mask. Now that I've had my braces and now got my new braces, it's completely fine and I'm much more confident. So that changed already. And I thought that I'm going to have this forever. Then what I thought back then is that my anxiety is going to completely disappear once I cured my social anxiety or once I cured my insecurities. But what happens is, the insecurity just change if you don't actually level up your mental health from the inside. If you just do something about your insecurities, it's, it's already great. Like I'm not insecure about my teeth anymore. I can actually go outside without wearing, wearing a mask. But you get new insecurities, like your eyes or your eyebrows, your glasses, your body. You get body dysmorphia from going to the gym or from, from comparing yourself to all these idols I made a video about. About that as well, social media, may, um, social media makes you think that you're ugly <laughs> and stuff like that. So we just get influenced by all these top, top, yeah, top looking guys and girls and whatever. And then we just give up, so we have to, yeah, get our mental health right from the inside. And that is a long process. I'm on seven proven since one and a half years, and I'm still struggling with that shit every day. And I think many other people are too. One thing to help with that, meditation of course, gratitude journaling, amazing tests, and then constantly improving yourself, constantly improving yourself. You build up wins, you build up, um, you build up wins and you just stack those on top of your personality. So you go to the gym, you hit a PR, you build more muscle, another win. You write a good note and test that you study for another win. You get accepted by the school. That you want to go to another win. You uh, get a you get your first girlfriend another win. You're talking to other girls, getting to know the game, and and you, you first your virginity another win. You get a new hairstyle that looks better than the one before another win. You start making a YouTube channel another win. And those are all examples out of my life that have happened in the last year. But another thing is we have to like stop for a second and actually look around and realize how much we've changed in one year. Because my problem is, today I'm sitting here with a fuck ton of anxiety inside of me. Today's a really bad day. So like, I just want to fucking quit and cry. And when I think back one year ago, I actually felt the exact same way. But what is different now is my life's completely different. It's just the way I feel is sadly the same. And I've achieved all of these wins, but actually they haven't contributed to my anxiety going away, so I actually do think I need some medical treatment, some serious treatment like therapy. And um, yeah, so a lot of things can change in, in your life, and things are so random, like you don't even expect things. Like around one year ago, I met my ex girlfriend, I never expected to, to meet anyone like that, I never expected to lose my virginity that year. I never expected to go to the places I went to. I never expected that I'm going to see those parts of Germany that I went to. It's just very random. And then you break up with her and you, you thought that you're going to be together forever. Like She just changed extremely fast. Which is kind of sad, but it's also the beauty of life. Like You can, you can just use that to your advantage and constantly jump around, hop around, and try different things out. Especially when you're young, you're not bound to any boundaries. You can just, you just jump, jump around and do stuff and go from here to here. And have some nice experiences and try out some things, try your boundaries, do some fucked up shit, go fail, and then you can easily restart and go and go another path. Then last week, I've met, I've, I've met a new girl and she's so high quality and I never thought that I'm, I'm going to meet a high quality girl, like she doesn't get social media, she doesn't, like every other girl that I've met before was suicidal, depressed and wanted to kill themselves and then she comes around just randomly because we're hanging over from a boy so we end up speaking and tomorrow we're having a date. It's like it's so random, it's so random. And 
just like a few weeks on self-improvement, those the first two weeks of self-improvement, I think they actually help you the most. So when you start rejecting all the bad habits, like you stop watching video, you stop playing video games, you stop watching YouTube, you stop watching porn, you go on no fab, you start going to the gym in the first like two weeks, and that already changes your whole outlook on life, and then you just get used to it, and you get stuck on it. So I, I'm in a stage of self improvement. I'm just stuck. But it's like normal for me that I don't do fucked up shit. It's normal for me that I don't play video games. It's normal for me that I don't watch porn. That I don't jerk off. It's normal for me that I'm on semen retention. It's normal for me that I work out every day. And for other people, that's like the biggest challenge. For me, one year ago, it was a big challenge. Today, it's just like it's like automatic. Like you build these habits, the more you do something, the more it gets ingrained into your mind. It's a better the connection of of the brain neurons, whatever form and you form a connection and then you perform those things like i just sit here and press play even though i'm feeling shit as fuck because it's just ingrained in your mind and other people have that with drugs like you just pop drugs without thinking about stuff or they just do this and this things that hurt themselves or they maybe even don't know the bad benefits of of the actions and they don't know they don't know that the actions will have consequences on the wrong one but they actually do and that's also very important to have the right habits when you're young because you stack those habits and what you do when you're young basically forms yourself in the future. So when you're doing the right stuff now, your future self is gonna thank you and in three, four, five years you're gonna sit there with good mental health and an amazing body and remember those weeks where you struggle with anxiety and depression and you look around and you realize that 99% of those people around you are the same and the life actually got worse. That, that is very motivating, right? Don't think of the now, don't think what you want to do now, think of what the future self would do. What's that future self? What's that Marlon in, in five years? What is Marlon when he's 23? Be grateful if he did that work on today. Would he? Then do it. Would he, would he be grateful if he jogged off today? Probably not. Then don't do it. Very easy. Talked about this many times delayed gratification, instant gratification. Instant gratification feels good in the moment. Bad for the long term. Delay gratification fits better in the moment. Great for long term. Very easy principles. And life just changes very fast. Like I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Tomorrow there could be a life event that completely changes everything. Some 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 important person in my life could die. Or maybe someone wins in the lottery. Like it, it's just so random and you, you never know. You always think like oh, I'm stuck in this place right now because that's all you feel right now. Like all I feel is this anxiety and I think I'm gonna stop be stuck in this forever because I've been stuck in it for, for many years, but I'm 17 and I still I still live like 60, 70 years on this earth. And you never know what happens and things are gonna change. They have changed in one year completely, I, I told you, completely changed. Went from a relationship, out of a relationship, lost my virginity, went to the gym, first time kickboxing, met like 100, 200 new people, had some Crazy experiences, started my YouTube channel, it's already six months ago. Crazy. Life just changes, bro. So if you ever think about quitting or killing yourself, just remember, it can change, it will change, you have to put the work in for it to change. You can't just sit around and wait and do bad stuff. That's not gonna happen. But it can change, and it will change if you put in the work in. And I hope that motivates you. And if you ever want to quit, just remember that. Think of the future self. And it can change. It has changed for me. Not the way that I feel, but everything else around me just got significantly better. And I just noticed another thing. This pain and all, all of this all of this anxiety inside of me, it's, it's what's pushing me, it's what's making me do the things that I do. It's making me press play and record this video. If I would be fine with my life, if I would not hate my situation, I would never work on myself. Because I would just be like, oh, this is fine, it's like me, me do awkward, like, I'm sitting in a warm house and I can do this and I've got, I can have a bit of fun. And blah, 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 blah. I can enjoy the benefits of not doing much, I can enjoy the benefits of having a mediocre life. With a bit amount of money that I can spend on each one. No, I don't want that. I'm, not, I'm not, obviously not happy with that. I, I, I need more. I want more. I hope it could help you. If it did, please like, subscribe, and let me know about 
what has changed in your life as a Parsi in the comments. And see you in the next one.